Nearly 250 young adults from around the world are in Rome to discuss ways to implement ideas from last year's Synod on Youth. Earlier this year, Pope Francis wrote a 50-page letter to young people telling them to let the world, to not let the world, rob you of hope and joy or drug you into becoming a slave to their interests. Joining me now is Courtney Grogan, Rome correspondent for Catholic News Agency. Courtney, welcome back. Have the young people said if the Holy Father's words on the Synod on the Youth have had an impact on them? At today's Vatican press conference, we heard from a youth delegate from New Zealand who shared that Pope Francis's message to young people, Christos Vivit, has personally encouraged her in her own faith journey, as well as her work in youth ministry. She said the challenge now is to determine how best to get this message to the youth and young adults around the world who need to hear it. Well, tell us about these delegates. Where are they from? What's their background? How old are they? Delegates were selected by the different national bishops' conferences around the world, representing more than 100 different countries. They range in age from 18 to 29 years old. What's the plan for implementing the ideas from the Synod? How would it happen around the world? And, and what, are some of those, what are some of those ideas? Much of the discussion this week will center on how to concretely apply Pope Francis's apostolic exhortation, Christos Vivit, published in April. In this letter, Pope Francis addressed issues facing and obstacles facing young people around the world, including feelings of isolation, overconsumption of media, and addiction to pornography. Pope Francis challenged young people to be leaders in their faith with both boldness and joy. And it will be up to the youth delegates this week, in coordination with their home dioceses, to determine how best to apply this in their home countries. You know, I understand there's also a mass at St. Peter's Basilica. Are they going to meet Pope Francis? Yes, on the final day of the forum, um, attendees will attend a mass in St. Peter's Basilica celebrated by Talk Cardinal Kevin Farrell, the prefect the of the Vatican Dicastery of Laity Family and Life. After the mass, there will be an opportunity to, for each of the delegates to meet with Pope Francis. Wow, that's going to be quite an honor for them. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Courtney Grogan, Catholic News Agency, Rome correspondent. Thank you, Lauren.